In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your text go from this to this if you have an Android phone. Let's get started. The very first step to doing this is make sure you have an Android phone. The next step is we need to head on over into the Play Store and we are going to download two different applications. The first one is called Google Keyboard. So if you just type in Google Keyboard, you will see this one called Gboard pop up. We wanna install that. That is a Google specific keyboard. Then while that's installing, we need to head on up and go and search for Android messages. These two applications will make sure that everything is running the same on your phone as it is running mine, and it just makes it really easy to do this. So once Android Messages installs, we're gonna open this up and we are going to set it as our default text messaging application. You can run through the settings here to see all it is doing. So now this is my default messaging application. We wanna go and change the keyboard that we have on our phone. So now if we go to the home screen here and I go into the Gboard, this will then help me set up Gboard as my default keyboard on my Android phone. So here I'm gonna click Enable in Settings. This is how you enable the Gboard keyboard to show up. So then I'm gonna say, okay, it is going to collect different information. Then I need to select input method. And now I wanna change it from the Samsung keyboard to the Google keyboard. Then I'm done, but I need to do one more thing, which is set the permissions. So this means that the Gboard is able to access my contacts. So then I click the arrow and I am all set. This will run you through how to use the Gboard. You can swipe and search Google right within your keyboard, but I'm just going to click skip right here. Here you have some other Gboard settings. I'm gonna just change the theme real quick. I really like this blue theme. Then I'm gonna click apply. Okay, so now I just need to go back into my messaging application and start a message. So here in this text box, I just click and now my Gboard is going to pop up and it looks very similar to any other keyboard you've ever used. But as what I wanna do is I wanna send a GIF. So I'm gonna click on the emoji right here and now you have this option down at the bottom that says GIF. This will automatically start showing GIFs that I can use. If I'd like to search for one, I can just click in this box and then type out whatever I want to search for. And then I hit the search button down here in the bottom right. Now it is showing GIFs based on my search category. So then if I wanna click on one of those, it is going to put that in the box and I can click send and it will send off that GIF. If we would like to add another, again, we just click back into the emoji. I make sure that GIF is selected. And then down here, I also have other options. Say I wanna click thumbs up. So it's giving me suggestions on things that I can send as a GIF. When you send a message like this to other phones, their messaging application should be able to read it. And if it doesn't, they need to download the Android messaging app and it is compatible if you send these to iPhones as well. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about how to create GIFs through the new Google keyboard on your Android phone. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, I am all about finding tech solutions for you. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon that pops up so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.